I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. This it came with a few toys like a happy meal. You know what was going on in my life at 15 and that's how I got introduced to the music industry. I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I sold my soul to the devil. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I, mean, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my end. What was your bargain? To get where um, I am now. Should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and then in a world we can't see. You know, it's sounding a little bit strange and I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm gonna, you know, I get a little bit mad. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. How did Satan deceive the world? Well, you can you can be rest assured he didn't put on his finest suit and walk the streets and promote himself as the truth. He didn't get on a radio station and deceive the world in his own character. And he most certainly didn't get on a television show or on the news or become a politician under the name Satan that you would vote him in and he would deceive you in that way. You see, Satan would prefer that you didn't know he exists, at least those that are not at the very top of his system. Here's how Satan deceived the world. He created a system of people that were so greedy and so ambitious and so selfish and so worldly and so sinful that they would sell their souls for a piece of his kingdom. When he offered Jesus the kingdom and kingdom said, no, 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 thanks. Jesus never denied that he owned the kingdoms because Satan absolutely 100% did own them. He earned them when Adam and Eve sold out to sin. Satan took dominion of the world. And he has built kingdoms. And he has sold those kingdoms to people that I would refer to as being very spineless and very foolish. He has tricked and deceived them. And their job is to deceive the world. You see, Satan doesn't get on CNN or Fox News. He doesn't get on the BBC or the ABC News as himself and deceive the world. No, no, no. No, you see, the people that are, are deceiving the world are the people that he has put in positions of influence and conditioning. All of these people that you call experts and all of these people that you call authorities, these are the people that he is using to deceive the world. How did, how did Satan deceive the world? He deceived the world because you believe in these people. You believe that your, your, your national news stations are reporting the truth. You believe that your education systems are telling you the truth. You believe NASA is telling you the truth. You believe science is telling you the truth. You believe these religious leaders are telling you the truth. These are the people that are put in places of authority in your life. These are your experts. These are the people that you believe have the knowledge and the education and the intelligence. So for that reason, you believe them. You never question them. Satan has you believing his deceptions through those he has deceived. These people are deceived. All of these politicians and all of these celebrities, your Neil deGrasse Tysons, your Barack Obamas, your Clintons, your Bushes, they're all deceived. Your Brad Pitt, your Angelina Joe Lees, your Madonnas, your Beyonce's, your Jay-Z's, 
These are all people that have sold their souls. These are the people that Satan uses to deceive the world. Satan doesn't get on national television as himself and lie to you. He gets the people that he has placed in positions of authority, positions of celebrity, positions of influence to lie to you. And that's why you are deceived. It's a system designed to deceive a world. So when you hear that the world is not a spinning wet ball and the world is flat, you automatically get angry and upset and want to curse and swear and freak out and name call and insult because you never ever questioned that before. You, you, you feel there's no reason to question it because you were told on good authority, experts, professionals, educated people told you. So because they told you, it's 100% correct. You never questioned it. That's how you got to see because you were also convinced not to question authority, not to question high education, not to question professionals or experts. That's how he got you. You look to these authorities in the world for your truth and whatever they say, you just believe it. You've been, you've been, you've been deceived. You've been greatly deceived and he did it through people that were ambitious enough in the world to sell their souls at the cost of deceiving you. They don't care. They have all the money, they have all the fame, they have all the fortune, they have the lifestyles, they feel very proud about themselves. Everything is great in their lives. They don't care that they received it by deceiving you. To them, that doesn't matter. Ha ha, who cares? Satan knew exactly who to pick to deceive you. He knew you would believe them if the formula was laid out correctly, if, 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 if the plan was structured properly, if the deception was veiled correctly. You would believe. And all of you people out there that go and vote for politicians when they come up for election, they say, yeah, yeah, we know politicians lie, but you still go vote. That means you believe that they tell the truth. You believe in your politicians knowing full well they're liars. The problem is you don't understand to what degree and what I'm telling you is they lie to the nth degree because Satan is in control of the conditioning of this world and he has conditioned it to be greatly deceived. And that's why you are greatly deceived and listen to nothing but deceivers. You have never known the truth in this life. There are Christians that know Christ that don't know the truth, they are still holding on to the deceptions because their egos can't let go of the world that they love. And that's exactly what it ends up being. You love this world. You have no understanding of how deceived it is. Therefore, you as a result are deceived. Satan deceived this world by using people that he knew you would trust he put name tags on them, experts, professionals, authorities. And he knew that you guys would take the bait. And you did. Especially you Christians who claim you understand scripture. Especially you, you Christians that want to sit up here and talk about how you're in the truth while you have 90% of your life in the world, which is a lie. You claim the truth, you claim Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but you're afraid to let go of this world for fear that you're going to let go of your own identity. And what I'm telling you is that your identity is now in Christ, not this world. This world is an absolute 100% deception. He deceived this world by putting people in positions that you would believe. And that's exactly what happened. You believe them. You're deceived. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, 
against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 